It's 1220B part 2 finally! It's 2am so I gotta talk quietly, but here's an intro by DiamondCup67. And then here's another intro by John Dubuck. Hello, John Dubuck here, and welcome to Twow 20B, part two. If you don't know what's going on, you have 0D3 options. One, click here to watch Twow 0A and binge watch all 6.5 hours of the series so far. Two, for the minimum necessary context, I would recommend watching Twow 19B, 20A, and now 20B. Three, not understand what's going on and watch through this video confusedly anyway. So back to the results, where the big question of the day is whether ping pong cup shots trumped the Mighty Mage's score of 48.05% or not. The winner makes final 6 and the loser has to gargle hydrochloric acid. Based on comments of the last video and the discord chat, there were a few people on team Midge, but a lot more on team Papux. Let's see which team will survive and which will fall. The Mighty Midge is safe! Goodbye Ping Pong Cup Shots. As a fellow member of r slash cubers, I followed your journey through Twow from the very beginning until now. Despite your elimination, you will always stand out as distinctly the first Twower ever to score two round victories. Because of this, we may never be rehabilitated from our addiction to remembering you. We saw your highlights, we saw your narrow escapes, and sadly, we'll see you leave now. What's that? I hear Tech Ajnan meowing from inside one of those holes. Oh, he has a final confessional that I forgot to mention. Well, I guess this is the end. Although it's no excuse, coming up with a good response in time got significantly harder when I moved away to university. It would have been nice to stay in the competition for a bit longer, but my responses were getting more serious and bland over time, and could not keep up with this creative competition. Uh oh, I can't pronounce that- Goodbye in French. Tack. Au revoir. But hold on, Ping Pong Cupshot's original PM to me had a curly apostrophe here that didn't show up in the voting video. I try to catch these mistakes when I can, but they slip past me every now and then. And also, remember that I told you guys to stick to ASCII-only characters to be safe. Now, this altered response was PPCS's lower scoring response, but it still only scored lower than the elimination threshold by 3%. Do you think it would have been scored at least 3% higher if the apostrophe had stayed? 3% is a big deal this late in the game. But if you do think it was possible, then perhaps Ping Pong Cup Shots would have beaten Midge and been safe. What do you think? Should PPCS be brought back? Let me know. But also keep in mind that the precedent that was set in FryUI vs. Uh, Ping Pong Cup Shots again 2016 states that a contestant cannot be hurt by boosts, only helped. So, the Mighty Mage is staying in regardless. The question is only whether to bring back PPCS. If he is brought back though, Living Twowers, consider that your chance of winning falls from 1 in 6 back to 1 in 7. And non-Living Twowers, consider that if PPCS is in, the delay until Season 2 will be extended one episode, unless I add a double elimination or something. So decide carefully for what you want. But we've gotta move on. Joseph Howard ultimately won his third victory in a row, and fourth overall. Other Twowers, you've got to pick up the pace, or else Joho will just win everything to the end. Though, this is made harder by the fact that Joseph gets to write three responses next time, yet again. Meester's responses requested fourth and second place, and you can see the very clear spikes in their respective voter rating distributions. 
But of course, the 4th place bike is even more stark, which explains why its standard deviation was so astronomically low. Everyone just agreed on what score to give it. Speaking of interestingly shaped VRDs, Joseph's response clearly has a uniform distribution across 1 through 6, the results of a die. And then you get the sloping off region of the anti-establishment rebels. Extremely picky SpicyMan33 also wanted me to point out that his ranks have been constantly rising ever since 1210, if you don't include his victories. But that trend just can't continue anymore. And also, mind-numbingly picky Spicy forced me to let you guys know that because Spicy won first place among all non-Joho Twowers, wait to glorify your second place rank as something better than it is, he's actually going to read the entire B-movie script on one of the voice channels on H1 Central on Sunday, December 4 at 3pm PST. So that means he broke his promise and isn't going to read the B-move script. Then I guess I'll have to do it. Flap wings, fly, turn, fly, flap wings. Sting! Speaking of spicy, you might think Spicy's VRD looks more favorable than Joho's, but realize that Joho has more weight in first, second, and third, all pulling his score up, while Spicy is only heavy on the firsts. Next, based on my subjective tallies, the breakdown for the rank requests of the 15 responses is this. 4 chose first, 3 chose second, 1 chose fourth, 1 chose 491st, and 6 were kinda wishy-washy. But now it's time for the Twow Simulator predictions! Joseph's triple triumph is propelling him higher and higher up this list, increasing 5 points to now have a 40% chance of winning Twow. Not as high as tax 44% from Twow 11, but getting close. Spicy also takes second from Yasuin, yay for him. Hold on, at this point, 3 out of 6 Twowers, a full half, essentially start their names with M which is quite a monopoly if you consider that M is only 1 26th of the alphabet. But look at the M cluster, they're the bottom 3 on the prediction list, and there's more than a 2 in 3 chance they'll lose a member next episode. Things are indeed getting tight. So, if you haven't noticed, I introduce a brand spanking new type of TWOW data analysis after every 5 TWOW episodes. Today it's TWOW 20. To summarize, here's who's still in and who's eliminated. If you're eliminated, you won't be able to send me any more responses for upcoming TWOW Season 1 prompts. So let's jump into TWOW 21, but that means we're already up to the 21st TWOW prompt. What is it? Well, do you remember TWOW 6's prompt? What should TWOW 7's prompt be? Zoro Arc 65 won that episode with the response, What would you do if you became the next president? But the rest of the members of the top 10 all did very well too, considering there were 121 contestants total at the time, yet they got barely any recognition. I'm talking about you, Midnight Light, Jumatalk, Dan the Stripe, Ulysses Castillo, Alex Lion 0511, Pink Pong Cup Shots, rest in peace, Green Ninja Lizard 123, Nitro Ninja, and Not Pro. So, what will I do to appreciate these nine underrated performances? I'm going to combine their responses three at a time to create the next three prompts for 12, 21, 22, and 23. This time, we're combining these three. So, these are the parts, and this is the whole. What top 10 prize did the chicken cross the road to get? Don't use the letter E. That's the 21st TWOW prompt, courtesy of Dan the Stripe, Ping Pong Cup Shots, and Green Ninja Lizard 123. Six remaining TWOWers, you have until December 6th, 2016 at Tempium UTC to submit your two responses to me via YouTube PM or Discord if the YouTube messaging system is still as buggy as it currently is. Joseph Howard, as seems as common practice these days, you get to have three responses. That's it, see you in 1221A. That's when the lowest voted TWOWER will be eliminated at 6th, and the highest voted TWOWER will get a triple response prize for next time. And now it's time to get to fan art. Hey, today is December 2, which means that yesterday would have been November 31st if it hadn't gotten stolen. What happened to it? Well, according to Yasuin, November was bad at Monopoly and had to trade it. But you know what that means? It's almost been a year since 12 started. December 12 will be the first anniversary. What should you do to celebrate that? Eat onions and family members. But one more thing I got to mention. Gabe's ad from last time was supposed to have two links I wanted you to go to. One of them, which was to the 12 Tumblr, did exist and a lot of people did go. But the other one, which is to Gabe's 12 Radio on Mixcloud, I forgot to put a link to. So now there's a link in the description and go there now. 